Welcome to Mr. Weather's World. The green iguana is native to Central and South America. They love swimming and sunbathing. Being herbivores, iguanas pose no threat to humans or domesticated pets. In Miami, Florida and the Keys, green iguanas are considered an invasive species. Unfortunately, the pet trade in Florida has created the issue. Pet owners tend to release them into the wild due to the growth capabilities of the iguana. They can reach sizes of 6 feet in length, including their tail. An average iguana will weigh in around 11 pounds. Damage to infrastructures can be linked to iguanas. Naturally, they burrow under seawalls, roads, sidewalks, and levees. Iguanas have quite an appetite, eating any vegetation at their disposal. Droppings from these lizards are linked to salmonella. As global temperatures increase, climate changes in southern Florida provide a suitable environment for the iguana to live. They thrive on vegetation, enjoy the warmth, and go about their own business laying eggs and multiplying. Over the past decade, increases in the iguana population have played a toll on several businesses and cleanup of their excrement has been considered an issue. In trying to resolve the problem, wildlife conservations should aim focus on limiting the population of iguanas and discovering habitats where they may live their lives fully. Some businesses in Florida have begun trapping and killing iguanas for their meat, using their skins as a source of leather. The best way to reduce populations of iguanas and decrease impacts of damaged properties would be humanely capturing and relocating them to habitats or into safe homes. Homes should be experienced in reptile management. No one should release these peaceful animals simply for growing too big. Rather than being killed and furthering poaching businesses, iguanas need to be handled with respect, love, and care. Before you go, please like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And join me next time in my world, Mr. Weather's World.